What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mike Check Podcast. This is T-Word, the People's Champ. Thank you for tapping in. Today, we're going to talk about a little bit of NFL betting on this upcoming Super Bowl. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We do appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much. We're grateful uh, for all the support. So without further delay, let's get right into it. And we're going to talk about some of the bets. I'm going to start on the chief side because that's just how I got it marked up on my board. Uh, and we're going to talk about some individual things uh, for in-game performance only. Uh, the first thing up, if Pacheco is able to get 100 yards from scrimmage, it's a plus 200. So that's a pretty decent win. Uh, if Mahomes wins the MVP, that's a plus 130. Um, and if Travis Kelsey wins the MVP, that's a plus 1600. Super long shot, but you can put a small bet on it on Bet US and actually net some decent money off like a five or ten dollar bet. So if if that's something that you do and you're looking for an inside track, those are the ones that I think are kind of just hot commodities or high probabilities. On the Eagle side, you have um, Boston Scott and Kenneth Gainwell, um, 40 yards uh, total uh, rushing. I'm sorry, 40 yards each. That's going to be a plus 150. So that's 80 yards between the two of them. Um, it's a little bit of a toss up, but I mean, on a $5 bet, that's not bad. You know, a couple bucks. Um, Miles Sanders, 100 total scrimmage yards. That one's going to be plus 200. Really high probability of that happening just because of the way that he's used. Uh, he's very productive on the ground and they use him in, in the screen game and passing game just a little bit. So it might be a good opportunity to steal a couple bucks. Uh, let me see. Jalen Hurts MVP is also 130 uh, plus 130. And then A.J. Brown is a plus 1800. Um, here's the thing about the A.J. Brown pick. Number one, he's only got 50 postseason yards and he hasn't been a key member of the Eagles offense in the postseason, even though he was the man in the receiving game during the regular season. Um, what that says is that if you see early in the game, they're feeding him. This one has a really good chance of coming up because he'll probably touch the ball running he'll probably have a bunch of catches he'll have a big play something that's going to impress the people that vote for mvp and that's going to give him a good chance if he's got a couple receiving tds and some rushing yards and a couple sp spectacular catches expect that guy to win mvp over the qbs especially in the eagles win now if the eagles were to lose um obviously no matter what he does isn't going to be enough it's probably going to be patrick mahomes um the reason that kelsey is such a long shot is because if he has enough yards and catches and all that good stuff to be the mvp they're going to give it to the quarterback uh you rarely see a receiver get this award and there's a reason um unless you know there's a blowout and then a backup quarterback comes in but the starting receivers are still in and those guys are still catching bombs and you'll see um, a receiver or pass catcher get an MVP award. It's a lot higher probability that a running back could get it, especially when it catches the ball out of backfield. You could even look at the odds for like Miles Sanders um, or maybe um, Pacheco for the uh, Chiefs getting an MVP because they have two two ways to higher statistics. So just think about that when you're placing your bets. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some cumulative bets that are going on. Um, looking at like these are available on FanDuel. Um, Postseason total rushing yards. Right now, Christian McCaffrey is at 238. Uh, right behind him is going to be Gainwell, who's at 160. Um, Miles Sanders at 132. And then Pacheco at 121. So Sanders is going to be a plus 600 that he could pass um, that he could pass McCaffrey. Um, Gainwell is a, is a plus 1600. Um, even though he has the most yards, he's not looked at as somebody who's going to get the most yards in the Super Bowl. So he's a big long shot there. And then you've got Pacheco at 121 yards, who's a plus 1,400. Um, in my opinion, uh, you probably bet Sanders because it's a good chance he'll get that 132 yards if the Eagles commit to the run. But if the Chiefs defense is just a little bit good, whatever you put down, you're probably wasting. But another situation where you could place a very small wager, and if it hits, You've done really well. And if you don't, it's a small wager, right? All right. So on the receiving side, you have <clears throat> Devontae Smith has 97 receiving yards. Uh, the goal is 220. Um, and then you've got, let's see, a plus 1200 on that one uh, for Marcus Valdez Scantling. He has 122 postseason yards. He's a plus 1600. So if he can get roughly 100 yards, he's going to pass um the postseason leader which uh, i just can't remember where it is off the top of my head but they're not active right now in fact i know who it is it's jamar chase jamar chase finished his uh postseason with 220 so there's a couple of guys in striking range um you've got travis kelsey at he's actually the postseason receiving leader right now with 178 
So he really needs like 50 yards to actually pass um, Chase. And, and they're predicting that he will because he's like a minus like a minus 400 or something in order to um, cash in on that. So not not a good bet at all. Uh, for passing TDs, I, I stop right there. I don't want to make this too long, so I stop. For passing TDs, you've got if Jalen Hurts hits three passing TDs exactly, you're going to get $500. Um, uh, it's plus 500. If Mahomes hits four passing TDs exactly, it's going to be plus 700. If he hits three passing TDs, Mahomes is like 250 or 300. So it's it's still a win, and it's probably a high likely win. That's why it doesn't really pay that well. But it's an exact number. You know, he, he's got to get exactly three or exactly four. So those are the things that I thought were pretty interesting and in, in the standout uh, betting opportunities for this upcoming Super Bowl. I'm not a betting expert, but I do understand the numbers. I understand the probabilities, the strengths and weaknesses of the teams. So these are the things that I felt like had either a strong possibility of happening or enough to place a small wager on type of possibility. So if you're into betting and you're into risking it, hey, go for it. Put a little piece of change on these different little things. Uh, run this video back, mark down what I told you, and then go out there and look at what the lines look like. And if it's worth it, you know, if you want some smoke, go get it. But um, that's going to wrap up today's video. This has been the NFL betting show for this coming Super Bowl 57. I am T-Word, the people's champ. I do appreciate you watching. I'm exiting the booth. Until the next time, peace.